this is a construction of an underground drainage system currently going on here. As you can see, this is the process. At this section, we have machines excavating us and filling the other lane. Why this is the other lane? This Honestly, I wish I can actually go further to show you what is going on there. Look here, as you can see, they are supplying sand. I think there's a plan sand down to that section as well. I went through about five to seven kilometers on the Lagos Calabar Coastal Highway at the Lagos section, exploring the construction progress on the Lagos Calabar Coastal Highway at this section. The construction of Lagos Calabar Coastal Highway is an ambitious project aimed at connecting nine different coastal states in Nigeria. It was reported that the Honorable Minister of Work for the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Engineer David Omar, said a kilometer of this 700 kilometer project will cost Nigerian government the sum of 4 billion Nigerian naira. This project has drawn controversy and concern from the good people of Nigeria, asking the question will this project ever come to realization? Hello, guys, I'm currently at the Eleko section of the Lagos Calabar Coastal Road here in Lagos, Nigeria, Ibejuleki. You may be asking what's going on on the Lagos Calabar Coastal Road. At the Eleko section, this is Eleko in the Bejuleki area of Lagos, Nigeria. This road is Eleko Road, connecting from Ekpe Express down to Eleko Junction. And right here, this is the coastal road where it connects to Leki, Aja, and Victoria Island. This is the Lagos Calabar Coastal Highway. We're taking a tour on this project to see things going on on a few kilometers on this project, heading towards Chakondi, Aja, and Victoria Island. That's Eleko Junction, and this is what is obtainable at this section of the project. This, this place is so wide. It's so, so wide. So we are exploring to see what's going on on the Eleko section of the Lagos Calabar Coastal Highway. So we are going further. This is heading towards Leki from Eleko. So if you be following through, on our last episode, we went through Victoria Island Coming towards Eleki, Marwa Junction, to be precise. Visiting this part of the project, the first thing I acknowledged was the wideness of this part of the project. Like, this place is way wider than that of the Victoria Island, if you observe. That, that, that thing there is the end of the road. And that's the end of the road. This place is so, so wide. And this is coming towards Eleko Express. And it's heading towards Leki. Asics. Walking through this road, I observe they've come far with the Sanfilin. Obviously, Sanfilin started from this section, heading towards Jakonde, while other team at Jakonde are also coming to, towards this direction, proposed to meet at a particular point. This is how far they've come on the project. Let's explore. So guys, standing further from where I came from, right here, I saw a construction going on here. They are constructing a drainage system. This is what was going on at this section of, of, of the project. This will help the community. If you look closely, this community has flooding issues. With this construction going on here, it will facilitate and caution the effect of flooding on this community and on the, on the highway. As you can see, this is what is going on here. They are constructing the, 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 the water drainage. That's that the excavator. And this are men at, at, at site constructing the drainage system. So as we go forward on, on the project, you see that thing is going on on the Lagos Calabar Coastal Highway at the Eleko section. So this is what is currently going on here. Right there, that's the Eleko Junction. I showed you guys around there and we're standing further. We're going further to Lekki section of the project to see what's going on on this part of the project. Let's go further to see the things going on at the other section of the project. Go nowhere, guys.
So guys, at this section, if you look closely here, you see this uh, sand sample known as stone base. So this is after the sand fill this particular point with this normal sand, then the, the others one. The construction progress is in stages. I asked an engineer on site, why adding a stone base after using a sharp sand to sand fill? He made me to understand that adding a stone base will help thicken the sand after sand filling with sharp sand. The stone base here was added primarily for a construction process. As I step further on the project, I see how far they've come with sand filling. This is about two kilometers from the Eleko Express, the Eleko Road I showed you earlier. This is about two kilometers inside the Lagos Calabar Coastal Highway. We're heading towards the Jakonde Aziz to see things going on there. This is how much they've come with the sand filling on the road. If you look closely, you notice a ring at the side of the road. That's an underground drainage system and these are just the arms to maintain the drainage when need be. As we extend further on the video, you'll be seeing how they construct these things. So guys, that is what I'm seeing here, right? Let me show you. So this is, I really don't know what it is. Okay, this is what it's looking like here. So you can see we have it from from this end coming towards the direction, and it's, it's two in number, like that that appears. Wait, let me let me go to that side, so, so you see what it looks like. Considering what I saw earlier. I was informed that these things will be kind of a drainage system. So I, I don't know if, if, if what I saw there is how these things have been constructed. So this is it. I was meant to understand that, considering the fact that this place has flooding issues, and they are working towards building a good uh, drainage system. So I don't know if this is one of the systems. You can see there are, there are holes. You know, these are these these holes. Will, you can see this one connect to, to the other one there. Why this one connect down to the next one and it goes on and on so this is what we have right there as i stand further on the tour on this project i confirmed that these are underground drainage system being constructed to caution the effect of flooding on the highway and in the community you see the process of how which these are done as we stand further just keep watching From this section, we can see stone base have been laid at this particular point of the, of, of, of the project and it goes down to Eleko. So we've come a few kilometers away from the Eleko um, Express and this is what is currently going on at this part of the project. And this is heading towards Leki. So you can see the stone base, some filling, excavation work is taking place there. And this is the, the other, other lane. This is one lane. You know, like, like I mentioned before, this place is so wide. Unlike VI section, this place is wide. Look at that. That's the end of the road. And as you can see, that other pillar there, that other pillar there, that's the end of this road. So this is how wide this place is. We have. At this section, this is a construction of an underground drainage system currently going on here. 
can see this is a process right there that, that's how they, they join them so you can see it's joints they, this is the first process and right here this is the manhole where they will add another, another layer on top then they can actually from here maintain the drainage if, if need be so you can see this is the process let's go down there to see whatever they're doing at um, that section so coming from here after this they will now have to cast these pillars below the, the ground as you can see so that's casting going on there and they're trying to water the casting to make it more stronger so this is what is going on here unlike where we've come from you see they are done with that particular section but the other side section where they are currently working on so as you can see this is the, the, the water to wet the casting and this is the mount hole where they add extra layer more like what they are doing there they are laying the pipe straight up to Lake Yazis this will really make this road more effective and uh, you know, caution the effect of flooding so guys there are many things going on here at the same time at this section they are laying the underground drainage while at this section there are some filling and you know excavating the, the expressway and at the other section there the lane of, of, of the underground the, the, um, drainage is, is almost complete as you can see that, that's the manhole as you can see they are they've already casted the, 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 the underground and that's where they will maintain the drainage if need be looking at the other end you see machine grading the already some field part of the road this is what we have going on why this is the other lane I have come about 7 kilometers far from the Eleko Express show you things going on on this section of the project This is what they are doing at the coastal road And this is heading towards Eleko Why is this heading towards Leki? This is what we have going on at the Lagos Calabar coastal road Eleko section Like I showed you earlier before this section they are doing um, underground. They are doing underground drainage system. I've shown it before, and this is uh, the, uh, the other lane. And hopefully, this will be the great tracks. I am not sure about that, but let's keep in touch and see what happens. So this is what we have going on at the electrical section of the Lagos Calabar Coastal Highway. I wish to go further and see what's going on there, but I can't really bring in private uh, mobility on the site except I'm working with. Contractors of this project, of which I'm making efforts to work with them. My legs are aching me already, so I have to turn back from here to, to be continued next time. Eventually, if I get an opportunity to work with the contractors of this project, because you know the engineering terms, what's going on on the Lagos Calabar Coastal Highway. But as a YouTuber, I will tell you that they are making progress on the Lagos Calabar Coastal Highway. Shown you Victoria Island, this is the Lagos section. And I heard that they are also working at Open State, which I will show you in the future updates. This is progress. What I saw is what I show you. So let me know your opinion on this. What do you think about the Lagos Calabar Coastal Road? What do you know about the Lagos Calabar Coastal Highway? Let us know in the comment section. And your boy is open for financial support. I'm teachable. Yeah, you can also, also contribute. You know, what are things that you feel like I'm missing out? What are the details you feel like I didn't capture in this video? Let me know in the comment section. And I will do well to, to do them next time I'm working on similar thing like this. Few things I observe at this section of the project is the fact that there are little or no investment affected at this corridor. As you can see, this, this, uh, this are just empty land, swamp, they are constructing. So you can see, this place is empty, here is empty. And this is where they, where they are working on. I'm coming from Eleko Junction, Eleko Air Road, and coming towards this direction, as you can see, it's so empty. There, there are little or no investment affected on this corridor I'm going to show you on the screen before you go subscribe that's the only way you get to see my face again I remember your boy I remember your boy OZ Peace of Lagos Nigeria